can we not get ahead of ourselves? And we I know. still got fall to go here. <laughs> exactly. And I know two people that have gotten ahead of themselves. I'm not going to call out Lauren and one used to work here, Ashley. That's a whole other story. We will talk about fall right now because we have one day until that happens. I know a lot of you excited about that. And I am a person that just loves the seasons as they come. So love summer. That was here. And tomorrow fall will be here. And I will love that as well. So we are going to continue to monitor what's going on as we go through the rest of today. In terms of fall, September 22nd, 321 in the afternoon, that will be occurring. So we will continue to monitor that as we go through the next day or so. And we can see the temperatures out there this morning. Ah. Feels pretty good. 63 degrees right now in Manchester, 62 in Ellicott City, 64 as we slide on down into Severn, 70 degrees in Annapolis, 72 in Chesapeake Beach. So these numbers will go up a little bit this morning if you are in those areas. But across the eastern shore, feeling pretty good. But remember, we should be at 57 degrees now for our low temperatures, and we are a little bit above that. The dew points are not as um, comfy as they were yesterday, but still no complaints as we do have 50s in Elkton. We're looking at that in Bel Air as well, but 60 in Chestertown and also Elkton this morning. We're looking at 61 around at the Inner Harbor, 62 in Columbia, and these numbers will continue to squeak up as we go through today. And then tomorrow, full blown 70s will be back in the picture. And you can tell when that cold front moves through, right? Friday, ah, oh, feeling so good into the weekend. The weekend is going to be a gem. And if you love fall, it's going to be so exciting for you. I think I'm so excited. I might try some pumpkin spice. Uh, Christian said that he's going to do the same thing as we work our way into to the weekend. Ah, uh, oh, he did one better. I don't think you guys heard that. He said that he was going to get me one. Oh, we're like this today. All right, let's take a look at what's going on. <laughs> Back off towards the west. We do have that cold front. It's a powerful cold front that's going to move in as we head into your Thursday. And boy, is it going to drop uh, plenty of rain across the area. Tropical Storm Peter not looking all that great. The winds sustained at about 50 miles an hour, moving to the west at about 12 miles an hour. And it will weaken as we head into Friday into about a tropical depression. Tropical Storm Rose not looking all that great either. The wind sustained about 45 miles an hour, moving to the northwest at about 20 miles an hour, and this will weaken into that remnant low as we head into the beginning of the weekend. This is the one that we're going to watch. It has about an 80% chance over the next five days, so by the end of the week, we will be looking at a tropical depression. Sam will be the next named storm. We are knocking them down Tuesday, today. Not too bad, but again, we will have those clouds. Showers and thunderstorms will be here as we head into your tomorrow. Thursday, the thunderstorms could be on the strongest severe side. Down Damaging gusty wind will be the primary threat. And there's the purple evening forecast. Not looking too bad as we continue through the rest of today. Seven-day forecast brings temperatures into the mid-70s for the weekend. It's going to be lovely. Let's